Hello my fellow gardening gals and guys, welcome back to my channel Serenity Now Garden. My name's Jeannie and I garden in a zone 4B. So today I'm going to be taking you on a shade garden tour, mostly for hosta lovers. There's a ton of hosta that I got, um, mostly this year. Some are a couple years old, like in back here. Um, so I'll take you around and there's a few other shade plants like astilbes and there's some Japanese forest grass and some ferns. So I hope you guys like it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like garden tours and consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out. So thanks guys, happy gardening. Okay guys, welcome to the Hasta tour. I'm so excited. So we're gonna start at my front door here and we'll kind of circle around. So I'm gonna show you these two hostas I actually don't have planted yet, I just got. We have Liberty on the right, and on the left, it's Maui Buttercups. So every garden needs Liberty. This is my first one, and Maui Buttercups, I had to get because just take a look at this hosta. It's gold, look at the leaf structure. I mean, when you look at the top there, all the leaves coming out of the stalk, it was just so interesting, so. Glad to add that to my collection. It will be planted shortly. And this is probably my favorite hosta I have. This was here when I moved in, Hasta Blue Angel. It's huge. It's already like about five feet across. Um, it's just starting to put up the stalks there. Check out the size of the leaves. I mean, I do have a little bit of mower damage around uh, on the leaves there, but um, yeah, I've never split this hosta. Here's just a miniature, and it, does, it just stays short. It's in front of the window, so I'm not sure what this is called. It was here when I moved in, but it's nice that it doesn't obstruct the window at all. So we're going to go down my side yard here. This is my rock garden. So I have a little blue mouse ears hosta. This is a mini hosta, so it'll stay small like that. I'm sure all of you hosta lovers out there already know that, but... So cute, I love that hosta. And then I have these variegated hostas just going down the side of my house here. You'll see these all over my yard because I started with five huge plants and I, I made like 30 or 40 plants out of these. So not sure what the variety is though. So we're going down here. There's a couple here on the left. So this one is Fragrant Bouquet. You could tell because it has a little bit of the white lining. This will get a little bit more vase shaped once it grows in. Here's some in substance. This is in full shade. There's something has been chewing on the leaves there. I'm not sure if it's slugs or what it is, but you could tell like the ones that are in more shade are more of like a lime green. And I'll show you some that are in full sun that are more like gold. This is a new one. Um, I just planted it last year, Humpback Whale. This will get seven feet across if it gets fully grown. We'll see if I keep it watered good enough. But if you look at that hump, like in one, that leaf right there um, on the bottom, I believe that's why they call this hosta humpback whale. So can't wait to see that fully grown in. So just going down the side yard in the back here, you'll see all those variegated hostas that I have all over the place. And there's some astilbes and there's some sun king aralias. They are awesome shade plants. So here's a hosta. I thought it was Halcyon, but I lost the tag. I'm not sure now. Like, look at how the leaves are a little bit wavy in parts. I know it's not a cross, crossa regal, but if anybody knows, please leave it in the comment section. All right, I have a huge project going on back here, so excuse all the mulch. Um, there's another fragrant bouquet hosta. I have to keep these sprayed really good with the deer spray, or else deer will eat those first. This, I believe, is a guacamole. I never kept the tag, but a tree landed on this, actually, in a big storm about a month ago, so it's looking pretty good. <laughs> and this is just a bunch of irrigated hostas back there. I kind of just threw them back there. This is a future site of where I'm going to have a fenced-in vegetable garden, so we have trees that we're cutting up back there that fell down. Here's a hostess, um, some in substance. You could see there's a little bit of deer damage on it, but it's growing back good. I didn't get out there fast enough with the liquid fence, um, and a deer got to it, but look how yellow that is. It's pretty large, too. This is a guacamole, too, I believe. This is getting huge. I love it. 
And this is in full sun now that I lost those two trees. So we'll see how they do. I mean, it's just the end of June, but we'll see if it's, you know, they might look a little crispy come July and August. So we'll see if I have to move those. If they could still be there. There's, excuse the root ball back there um, where the trees fell, but some in substance in the back. And this is a halcyon in the front. I love halcyons. And this is looking pretty good for pretty much full sun. But the leaves aren't looking crisp. I love that powdery blue. And look at how yellow the sum and substance is. So one of my favorites. So I hope those do okay in the full sun. So I'll do an update towards the end of the season so you guys could take a look. Just next to that, another fragrant bouquet. I really liked fragrant bouquets like two years ago. Um, so I put in a f quite a few. And I'm just cleaning up this area. We got big, big projects this year. This is the front of my house. I'll show you this retaining wall. And then I'll go down the side here. It's all my little shade garden. So we just have uh, four of these just run-of-the-mill green hostas. This one's pretty big. They were here when I moved in. So I don't know the variety. But it's my only all green. Got some geraniums, some coral bells. There's another green one. Some dianthus, another green hosta, dianthus, spirea. I'm going to go down this hill here. This is brand new, just put in just not even a month ago. So there's a hosta forbidden fruit. You'll see quite a few of forbidden fruits because I got them on sale at Menards for like $3. I couldn't pass it up. So, But just keep in mind, these will look a lot better once they're fully grown in. So this is brand new. Here's Hasta Fire Island. This is the one. It gets a little bit of sun, so the leaves look a little bit bleached in a couple areas. But this is the one that has red stems. I love it. It'll stay kind of compact. And Hasta Sunshine Glory. This one gets huge. It's supposed to get like five feet across. So there's um, just some Japanese forest grass. That's all gold. And I believe that's another forbidden fruit, if I remember correctly. Here's a blue Hawaii. I cannot wait for this to come in all the way. A little bit bigger than Halcyon, but same powdery blue. This is a pilgrim hosta. I have a few of these too, because I got them for three bucks each. How can you pass that up? I mean, Menards really stepped up their hosta game this year. <laughs> And this is a Francis Williams Hasta. I think I have three of these all together. So this will get quite large as well. They don't like very much sun. So, And a Halcyon. I just love, I just love mixing the blues in with the yellows. It just looks so good with the contrast. I believe that's another uh, forbidden fruit. Check this one out. This is interesting. This is Rainforest Sunrise. Menards had this one as well. I believe it was about $7.99 in a gallon. And this is a yellow polka dot bikini. Look a little lime green right now, but these will get pretty big, so it's kind of hard to judge when they're small. Two more forbidden fruits here. And just behind that, check this one out. This is a bedazzled. It has a little bit of leaf damage there from, I think, a rabbit. But this one's going to look really cool. So sweet, Hasta. It's my first one of these. And it was $3 at Menards, you know. So I'm just like, eh, I don't have one. I want to add it to my collection. There's another Halcyon. And check this out, Dream Queen. I love that stripe down the middle there. Very interesting. It'll get quite large. Not huge, but. All right, let's go down my side yard here. That's a Sun King of Raleigh on the front there. Now, I didn't plant these um, far enough apart in some areas. They will end up needing to be moved. I'll show you in a couple spots. I just got some variegated hostas there. But just on the back side of the Sun King Ralia, that's a blue Hawaii, or uh, no, a blue angel. So I will need to move this one once it gets bigger. And just a regular variegated has to behind that. Halcyon in front there. 
I just love those blue halcyons. One of my faves. There's a forbidden fruit, one that's a little bit bigger. They look really cool when they get big. This is just a Japanese painted fern. A good companion plant next to a hosta, I think. I think I have three of these. I also have some astobes mixed in up here. And this is a proven winner Shadowland series called Autumn Frost. Very popular hosta. Every garden needs one, I think. These get really cool looking when they're a bit bigger. Ah, oh, I forget what this one is called. There's a pilgrim hosta. I have a couple of those, like I said. Another halcyon? Looks like another pilgrim there, too. There's another yellow polka dot bikini. It'll get quite large. I just love hostas, you guys. There's another forbidden fruit. I just got addicted to them. Another fire island. You can really see the red stems on this one. I love it. But in the comments below, put down some of your favorite hostas that you have in your garden. I would love to add to my collection. Got some Creeping Jenny back there too, just to brighten up the area. I believe that's uh, Francis Williams. I cannot wait, even in like two to three years, for these to grow in a bit more. It's going to look like a different garden, I think. That was a forbidden fruit. Here's just a variegated Jacob Slatter. It's a good companion plant. can take shade. I got three of these. They have little blue flowers in the spring on top. Very interesting. Very, very cool looking. Still be. And here's a Hasta June. I think every garden needs one of these too. These will look really cool when they grow in. The blue on the leaves will just really pop. It's like a powdery blue around the edges. My neighbor had one and I'm just like, ah, oh, I need one. <laughs> still be next to it. Another Jacob's Ladder. These are Roseanne geraniums. They could take part shade. So they, this is just the first year, so they're not blooming a ton, but they bloom for a long time. We're talking like late spring to fall. And I just have a few more hostas around the back of this tree here. This one I believe is a guacamole, I think. I cannot remember. I think I got this at Menard or Walmart, and I did not keep the tag. Just a variegated hosta there. There's some gold ajuga. That's a good companion ground cover for shade. It's new, so it hasn't really grown in. This looks like another pilgrim. And forbidden fruit. I think I have like 10 of these. So there you go, guys. There is my Hasta tour for all you Hasta lovers out there. Like I said, I'm going to have to move some of these around in the future, but luckily Hastas are so forgiving that uh, it shouldn't be hard. I do have sprinklers that uh, water these every two days. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy gardening.